हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल दिल्ली टेरो एंड आई सुनीता टैंक विश ऑल माय डियर एक्वेरियस पीपल अ वेरी वेरी हैप्पी बर्थडे इट्स योर सीजन योर सीजन इज कमिंग ऑन नाइनटीन ऑफ जनवरी एंड आई एम सो हैप्पी दैट यू ऑल आर एसोसिएटेड विद आर चैनल दिस इज गोइंग टू बी योर बर्थडे रीडिंग my best wishes to all of you that may any of your wish which is pending must come true in this birthday time and this is going to be your general read for any personal private reading you all know very well that you can connect with me on the email id or the website mentioned in the description box below yes this is going to be a group reading so there is a possibility that you are not able to resonate with the complete reading so just pick it up the piece the portion the part of the reading which resonates with you the most and if you really like my channel do subscribe do put on the notifications and from my heart again thank you for being with me on this journey and i really wish each and every one of you must have your dreams seen you know through your naked eyes coming true and yes if you are having your birthday between your you know this time period 19th january till uh 19th of february you can drop a message to me on the day of your birthday not before or after that you can mention your name to me on the day of the birthday and i will definitely give you your separate angel message card as a birthday gift from delhi tarot so over to your reading straight away i'm going to pull out some angel cards some energy cards i'm also going to see your overall uh, year 2024 how your year is going to be just a quick short tarot reading on money career finances your love relationship and little bit on your health as well straight to your reading right away let us see what messages do we have from angels angels the birthday message for my dear aquarius people out there you have the card if you believe and you have be assertive and you have a card of in the near future now if i see your angel messages it is you your own clarity your own thought your own way of looking is going to positively influence you is going to positively you know impact you in all aspects of your life your own viewpoint is going to matter you the most in the new year and i'm just going to explain this in a while let us now see what are your energies aquarius on your birthday let us see what messages you have a card of envy you have a card of fourth chakra archangel raphael and then you also have the world out there okay let us also see how your overall year is going to be and then i'm going to pull out separate cards for your money career and finances and love relationships you have the wheel of fortune you have knight of swords and you have got four of cups now if i see your overall situation the year is pretty average and your overall year you know you have to be very very prompt very very clear in your communication you know uh, what you want you should make it clear to people around you in your personal professional life and similarly what they can expect from you you have to have clarity on that and the card of be assertive says that throughout the year try as much as possible you can avoid any kind of miscommunication you can avoid any kind of assumption based communication and you can avoid any kind of conflict any conversation which is not related to you directly so just be away from all the things because you already have a card of envy the moment you you try to interfere into the matters of others there is a possibility that you attract jealousy or enemism but then it is also the year wherein you have to keep your communication minimum try to speak as much as little as possible speak at the relevant time with relevant person and sharing more of your plans strategies and action it is something which i would definitely like to suggest you to retain 
to yourself only because the energy overall of sharing is not that great but yes when i see the other cards in the near future and the world you know there is a very strong wish fulfillment which is associated with these two cards the angel card and the world card some cycle is coming to an end that means something you really want to achieve you already have a goal you already have a target in your mind and then you know you are already working towards it but then it is not the completion you see is not near but yes what i am anticipating what i am sensing from your the energies of the card i think it, what for whatever you are struggling a particular goal a particular target or anything into your personal or professional life you are going to see it witnesses definitely within 6 months that is the time period from january to june is going to be very powerful for you there is a very strong end of struggle and it is also associated with a wish fulfillment because you already have a card in the near future and yes whatever you believe your own visualization your own manifestation is going to really bring miraculous results in all aspects of your life now if i see your fourth chakra archangel raphael this is a very strong indication aquarius that you are hurt you are emotionally mentally hurt and for few of you i do see that there was physical injury also in the last year now this is a healing time for you uh, let me put it that way in clear message what i am getting from my angels to tell you is that the angels want you to let you know that this is going to be your year of recovery and post recovery this is going to be the year of healing and this is going to be the year of stability now when i say this first it is going to be healed up then stability then recovery and you will become very very you know very smooth this year that the mentally emotionally physically you will feel much better than the last year but then when you have a card of archangel raphael it is also suggested and guided that you also practice some yoga some meditation which gives you healing energy it also tells me that i have to guide you here that you need to heal up while you are very near to the nature so yes you can adopt some practices you can adopt some hobbies wherein you spend more and more time in the nature near the nature flower and plants or do something some yoga or some meditation which is related to that so that that gives complete physical mental healing to your mind body and soul and it's very important that you need to take care good take care of your health this particular year because for the first time archangel raphael card is is giving so many messages for you aquarius now when i see your overall year you have the wheel of fortune you have knight of swords and you have four of cups so yes this year is primarily the year of transformation the year of change but then things will become very very stable things will become in hand four of cup also says that you know you should not leave anything abruptly and there will be opportunities coming your way in this year but there is a possibility that you are not that interested in those opportunities and you might say no even before exploring now when you have four of cups you know the opportunity which are coming your way is actually the blessing so it is important for you to explore and see where that opportunity is leading you rather saying just no at the initial stage so you know do self introspection do your homework see how the opportunity is turning in a different form for you different from your expectations different from your assumptions and it also tells you that there is a possibility of you becoming little rigid and stubborn this year for which you have to take the necessary precaution and yes the whole year there is going to be lot of action lot of movement but there are chances of falling back because knight of sword has a tendency that when you don't listen to your well wishers or advisers the advice they want to give from their experience and exposure you don't listen to it and then you fall so this is the time period when you need to concentrate on your actions but you have to be very well aware about the advices you are getting you are receiving it when somebody somebody you know close to you or your well wisher is offering some kind of advice 
However, when you have a card of Knight of Sword, it is important that you keep a check on your communication, that you are straightforward, but not up to the extent of hurting people. And that is what I told you that while you are being assertive, try to keep a check on your communication throughout the year. And, you know, you only, you know, just count your words before, uh, before sharing it with people. Communication is something which needs extraordinary precaution and care. In your new birthday year now let us see how your money career finances overall is going to be in the your new year birthday year when I see money career finances we have five of cups we have got ace of swords and we have got the king of cups so yes if you are looking forward to raise or a promotion Yes, this year you can you have very bright chances of receiving that because you do have support from people around you. There is a possibility of new communication related to new projects and new work. But yes, you are still mourning over something around the past uh, Aquarius. And I do feel that this is connected to Raphael. Maybe you have gone through a a bad experience, a bitter experience, a betrayal of some politics. You have faced workplace politics, conspiracy, I should say, and you are mourning even over the lost opportunity. Maybe you were highly attached. Maybe you were mentally, emotionally attached to your past association or past relationship or past engagement and you have left it. Maybe you are, you are still mourning over something you have already left. But then if you look at your back, the world, this was not the end of the world. There are good opportunities coming your way and they are there. It is just that you have to realize that there are more things to life apart from what you have already left. So this particular year, money, career, finances, there will be opportunities and there will be new things coming your way. And yes, you can expect good growth in your money, career, finances, the overall professional life. Now let us see how your love and relationship is going to be. Message for your love and relationships. We do have the card of Empress. That's a beautiful energy Aquarius. And the card of Empress says that yes, you will be very comfortable in a, in a relationship. I do feel that you are going to... Uh, you are going to get a new soulmate connection this year. And this is also a card of confirmation that if you are looking forward to a family extension, family planning, it's a very beautiful good news for you. And the other card is two of wands. Yes, there are the energies are very beautiful. Both the partners, you and your partner in a relationship, you both are going to work together beautifully towards the fulfillment of the relationship. And your other card is the tower. There could be a shaken up movement at the later part of the year. I'm sensing this to be post October. I do feel that there is going to be an emotional turmoil at the end of the year which is going to shake you up you know from within and i would like to pull a clarifier card for tower which is the three of pentacles and which is a card which says that yes you know while you work jointly while you believe that you need to stay in the relationship while you believe that yes you need to together work for the relationship a team can definitely solve a love couple team can definitely solve or the equal efforts from both the partner side can definitely so, uh, you know solve any crisis which do comes up in your relationship but when i see your overall tarot reading i was making some space for you to see now when i see your overall tarot reading your personal life seems to be much better than your professional life in the year. And if I see your personal life, yes, there is a turmoil at the end of the year, that is October, November, December, which can be resolved with the equal efforts from both the partners. But overall, I do see that there are major changes, major modification and major transformation coming primarily in your personal life more than your professional life. Now let us see what message cards do we have from angel of abundance for you and i would like to pull three cards for you because this is a lovely deck to give you more messages and you do have a card of deservingness it says you are a beloved child of god like everyone else and you deserve to receive the support 
that will allow you to focus upon your divine life purpose even if you can't yet recognize your lovable qualities trust that god and the angels can see how amazing you truly are just put some affirmations which are related to deservingness and see how beautifully you are being receiving and then you have a card of declutter it is not just the physical declutter but yes the communication wise also you will feel better and more focused if you will take the time to clear away clutter from your living and workspace donate what you can to help others who may need your items be sure to keep your schedule uncluttered as well your time management your clear communication is going to be very very important aquarius in the new year and let us see the last card of the reading it's time for you to face your financial fears and this is what i was trying to tell you that your personal life seems to be better than your professional life this year money career finances seems to be the year of recovery and getting back on track so it says when you are honest with yourself about fears of success or failure they can no longer control you be free of hidden fears by exposing them to the light of awareness and you will realize that you in fact have nothing to fear and that every successful person has struggled with and released these self doubt it's very important that you allow all fear anxiety stress you know stress is not just mental it could be emotional it could be financial it could be physical it could be spiritual it could be related to your security to your safety to your stability of life to your stability of your love beings of your loved ones the overall financial security the overall well-being security allow everything to let go because you are well protected by your angels for sure it's the year of recovery and stability do let me know how you resonated with your reading and yes while you are approaching uh me for your birthday readings which is a paid process i would definitely need to have your details so that i can also check your numerology status and can give you the remedies accordingly do let me know how you resonated i will see you next time very soon be blessed